In this week's episode, I go exploring the shallow tidal waters of the bustling Gold Coast after a nasty southerly blow ruled out heading offshore. With a couple of buckets of gun locally collected bait in hand, I set about gathering a haul of fresh fish for the table. That's if I can land them. Oh, here we go, something's picked it up. Oh, there we go. What have we got here? Okay. I don't know what this is, but it's big. Enjoy the show. <laughs> Have a go, man. The adventure starts in the glow of morning light with a quick tinny trip to one of the many sand flats that lay scattered across the broad water. With a full day of fishing ahead of me and the tide just right, priority number one was to collect some fresh bait. Morning ladies and gents, and welcome to another Sammy Itsky fishing adventure. Bit of a different start this morning. Not the usual offshore sunrise on the sand flats. Pumping some bait. Oh there we go. That's what we want there. That is our prime bait for today. That's what we call a yabby. They also go by a few other names. Watch that nipper. Bass yabby, pink nippers, all sorts of things. This is hopefully going to be our golden ticket. You'll see we're out in the flats today. And uh, that's going to be the majority of the place that we're going to be fishing. Pretty much wherever you can pump yabbies, you can fish for the target species, which is the fighting whiting. Now, the goal size is to get one over 40 centimetres, which is a cracking whiting. You don't get too many of them, but I'm hoping we can get one just to show you. But these guys here, they're the key to our success. Whatever you call them, absolutely fantastic bait. Now, I usually do these trips with Tez. But the old boy, I should have bought that float. The old boy's too busy getting stuck into his uh, semi-retired lifestyle. He's on holidays. I'm on my hand solo, got a point to prove. Hopefully catch a few that'll make him jealous. There we go. That's the ticket, a couple of soldier crabs as well. I need them. Now we'll probably need, I don't know, a few more, and then it'll be time to start fishing. Obviously while you're waiting, you don't want to be coming back to the boat every two minutes, so make sure you get yourselves plenty to last, and they, they do last pretty good without water for a little bit, so yeah, they'll be fine. Righto, this is where we say goodbye to the boat for the moment. Just going to be cruising around with one outfit, super light. This is 
extra light, super fun style of fishing. I've got everything I need on me, including a net for that big 40. I've got my bait here, wading bag, measuring stick, because we're definitely keeping a feed. I don't know if you guys have tried them, but whiting, absolutely fabulous. And now, uh, first port of call, we're gonna go back up here, fish all the places that we just pumped yabbies. Hopefully we can find a few fish without getting swooped by that plover. Let's go. And one more bit of essential kit. I know it looks nice and sandy, but make sure you've got a good pair of shoes on. Something that can get wet because you never know what's hiding in the sand here. You can get all sorts of stuff. Aside from the marine um, critters that can sting you, just people that suck, chuck broken glass, all sorts of stuff. So you don't want to get a cut foot. Wear some shoes. Righto. So that tide's still coming up into the flat there, so I'm going to give that another 10 or 15 minutes to get a touch deeper. In the meantime, however, it's a little channel behind us. All those yabbies, uh, sorry, all those whiting, in theory, should be coming up along there and getting ready to go up onto the shallows. So... Fishing supernatural presentation. Look at that. Unweighted, no sinker. Just gonna chuck this out up here, let it waft down, and away we go. Alright, Tez, we're gonna do you proud today. 40 centimeter tings all around. Alright, so I'm gonna fish it pretty light through the fingers here. Just let it drift down with the tide. You'll know. Once it starts cruising out, fish on. Now it's just a matter of finding the fish. Try a shallow one. Here we go, something's picked it up. Oh, there we go. What have we got here? Okay. I don't know what this is, but it's big. Gone. Wow. <laughs> well, guys. For the first hookup of the day, um, yeah, that was a little bit too big. Now, that may have been a big flathead because it just uh, broke. Oh no, that's braid. That's braid knot. That uh, that may well have been a good fish, and I've absolutely cooked it first go. That's my knot pulled through on an absolute cracker. That's costly. That was a really nice fish. Damn it. Oh, no. Oh, Tez. Tez is going to be laughing. He's not here fishing with me. I'm not sure if he's going to be wishing me all the best or all the worst. Uh, <laughs> I know he'll be laughing at that one. Well, this is never a good time to figure out that the knot you tied at the start of the day didn't work. One good fish down, dropped missed opportunity would have been the perfect way to start the episode off in style instead we're here tying another leader because apparently I can no longer tie knots it's unfortunate that I have to say take two not a happy camper about that one I don't mind getting fairly beaten by fish fair and square that's all part of the game, but when it's your own damn fault, it's something that you could have influenced and you could fix, and you should have done properly. That's when I get a little bit annoyed anyway. Bait number two. Let's uh, send him into action, and hopefully old mate's got a friend. Oh, 
here we go. Dropped him. Oh, got him. Have I got him? Got him. All right. Well, we have a hookup, guys, and I think it is a long tom. It is a long tom. And that's not what we want. These guys rate very low on the uh, to catch list and they also are a pain in the ass to get off because they try and bite you. Oh, you're biting your own tail, mate. That's going to suck. See you later. Don't tell your friends we're here. If you're going to catch long tom, if you're going to catch long tom, be prepared to change your leader often. Those sharp little teeth, nick it and curl it up. Make sure you take it with you, of course. But it's not worth losing another fish over. might push up the flat a bit and uh, see if we can find a bit more of a stronghold. of the Gold Coast. Oh, oh, here we go. All right. That feels a bit better. That feels a bit better. Okay. There we go. Now, that's bucking around. I'm hoping hoping this is what we came for after that big hook up early it kind of um <laughs> it it kind of did go a little bit quiet so I'm, I'm really hoping we've got a whiting here he's having a little go whatever it is just pick that yabby up free spooled it and then uh i haven't seen it yet usually if it's brim you see a flash of silver Whiting are the masters at camouflage. It's a whiting. It's a whiting. I haven't seen the size yet, but he looks all right. Oh yeah, yeah it's a nice one. Oh, it's a cracker. Get the net. Get the net. As a starting fish, this guy will do very nicely. Hello, Mr. Whiting. That is an absolute belter to start off the day. An absolute cracker. So much so, in fact, I'm gonna give him a big old measure because that's up in the 30s. Ladies and gentlemen, I do love it when a little plan comes together. Have a little look-see at that for a chunk of whiting. It's a really nice fish. Some would say a snodger. Now he's got that that hook right down, which is fine because he's coming for a feed. But the all important and what Tez, the Phantom, will be most concerned about is how he goes on the measure. Now I did get a little bit excited. He's only 35. <laughs> I was throwing 40 claims out straight away, but I'll tell you what, for an opening fish doesn't get too much better than that now we will be keeping a feed today these guys are delicious haven't been out offshore so these guys will be coming with us and I've got a self-imposed size limit of uh, of 27 centimeters so being 35 this guy's a prime ingredient hopefully he's got a few more mates around this size absolute belter the old long handled uh, long nose sorry to get that hook oh, he's only just pinned 
at least we got lucky there. This is where the old Phantom Tool comes into play. Named after the man himself. Just clipped onto the waiting bag. Give this guy the old brain spike and bleed. And ladies and gents, first warning of the day is in the bag. <laughs> oh no. Well, definitely be sending one straight back to where we got him from. They do travel in schools. It seems we might have been fishing a touch too deep there. Already well on their way pushing up that flat. Hopefully he's got a few mates with him. That was a nice subtle bite too. Just kind of picked it up, slowly moved off with it. Nothing crazy. The big ones can, can just grab and run, but he was a bit more tentative. Just hopefully he can find a few more of his mates. Now you guys will hear a fair bit of wind in the microphone, the water's rippling. Some would say ideal whiting conditions. Gives them a bit of cover. They can uh, hide up on the flats there without being seen too easily. Um, also exactly why we're not offshore at the moment because this is probably a, a, a very modest 15 knots. It wouldn't be pleasant out there at all today. So what better thing to do? Cruise around the flat. Just working my way across here. One thing I've found, and one thing Tez has always told me, is the whiting will generally find it pretty quick. So keep moving around until you find them, because yeah, they don't muck around. They know a, a yabby on the flats isn't going to last long, so they generally scoff them if they're in the area. It does pay to cover a bit of ground. No, two or three minutes without a bite. Take a few steps and cast somewhere different. What do we got here? Little tacker. Bit of bycatch. A little flatty. Of course, I left my lip grips in the boat. Well, all right. Just got ourselves a little, little flatty here and I bought lip grips especially for this and guess where they are in the boat so there's that hook there this is potentially what we hooked onto earlier that first cast a big the big brother of this guy pull that hook out the back way there he is little flatty off you go mate Disappear, full camo agents. Get the old calm points up. Now, aside from having the right tools for the job in the uh, rod and reel department and your hooks. Also notice wearing the old spotters. Now this is where a pair of good sunglasses really comes into their own here. I'm looking, I can see yabby holes, I can see depressions, melon holes, see the odd fish cruising past, see stingrays. Coming out on the uh, flats without a good pair of polarized sunglasses is, uh, is a big no-no. I'm running the Fusions with the carbon lenses and they're working an absolute treat even in these low light conditions. 
just looking for a few more flashes to let me know where these whiting are. Oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. Well, that's got a bit of weight to it. That's a nice fish. Oh, I hope we can see this one. That's a, uh, that's cutting water. Might be a brim, but whatever it is, it's got a bit of weight to it. As long as it's not a long Thomas, we happy. Oh, he's racing towards me. Ah, uh, old Mr. Brimbo. Didn't think it'd take him this long to track me down. Not a bad brim at that either. Fortunately, not our target species, although these flats brim are quite, quite nice. They're at least nice clean. There you go, give us a look at you, mate. He's just picked that yabby up and gone, thank you, I'll have a chew on that. These guys are very common on the flats. You can quite often pick up really nice ones as well. This guy's certainly not big enough to worry the scorers. Just having a bit of a species day today. Of course, about just about all the irregular flats quarry. Whiting brim flathead. And unfortunately long tom as well. There we go. See you mate. I'm sure he's got a million friends down there. But they do sit with the whiting, so it's not the end of the world. As I worked my way over the flat, I was beginning to notice that I was only picking up single fish from time to time. I really needed to find an area holding a school to start putting some points on the board. We got here. Come on, be a whiting, please. Be a whiting. Go, son. But are you a whiting? No. No, brim it is. Thought that was us for a second there. Beautiful example of a uh, brim. He did whiting things. I got a little bit excited. At least there's a bit more action in this shallow stuff. So, oh, there it is. So hopefully there'll be a few more fish around. Hold on, mate. It was becoming increasingly obvious that this flat just wasn't holding numbers of fish. Over the next hour, the only other action I encountered was a brief battle with a nice flatty. Oh. I think it's a big flathead. Yeah, it's a flatty. And there he goes. That is what happens. Oh, that better not have been a hook pull. Oh, that's even worse. It is a hook pull. And of course, another brim. I think we can confidently say 
that the whiting aren't here. So it is time for a move. It's nice brim and good fun and we did see some nice flathead, had a couple of chances. But whiting are the target species and a whiting E we shall go. Time to try a new flat. But that prospecting only resulted in more pesky brim. For a whiting fisherman, sure doing a great job at catching brim. Where were these damn whiting? I made the call for one last spot change, which required a short trudge to reach the bank. It was a last ditch effort. Hopefully it would prove to be more productive. Spot change. Oh, that's one. Really struggled to find the whiting. A million brim. This could be whiting number two. Actually, yeah, it's definitely whiting number two. It's just whether we land it or not. It's quite a nice whiting too. Oh, he's got some mates with him. Well, that's a good sign. So this fish is swimming around, he's got mates with him. I wonder if I can land him and feed them a bait too. All right. Ha! Whew. Well. That camera is getting buffeted, but you get the idea. That is the second whiting we've caught. Only about six hours between the two. I need to get this guy on the measure. I need to know if he's coming. Hopefully 27. He looks 27. Oh yeah. It's 29. Thank goodness. Because as you would know, one whiting is a terrible feed. You need more than one. He's a lively one. There you go. Whiting number two. Hopefully they're starting to come on the chew. New spot, new us. But yeah, that's what we're looking for. In the bag. thumb gripping a whiting. Well that guy, he'd be another probably early 30s fish. He's a, a lovely example. Look at that. Two and two cast. Finally our feed is coming together. It took a little while but oh, I'm not disappointed now. Just for the record, he 
is a lovely 31. Beautiful. So, got those other two whiting by just slowly walking along with my, um, with the yabby. This is actually a uh, technique that Clint, who runs the Gold Coast River Charters down here, he showed us. It's just a, oh, I guess it covers ground, but also gives them a bit of a moving natural target. Maybe it equates for a bit more aggressive bite. I'm not sure, but it worked twice. And after not catching anything for a little while, keen to do it again. Here we go. Eat it. He's eating it. All right. Haven't got eyes on this guy yet. Well, he's bucking like a whiting. Come on, be number four. Yep, it's a whiting. <laughs> oh, he might not, not might not be in the same class as the other ones though. It's alright. Oh, he's not too bad. I think he'll go. I think he'll go the 27 that we're chasing. Let me just double check on the measuring stick. He's 27 on the nose. 27 on the nose. Uh, don't mind me. Just can't find the hole. Get in there. <laughs> well, we are starting to chip away at this guy. He's only just 27, so he still he gets a free trip to the Hitsky household, but not by much. Some would say his unlucky day. That's all right. We're, uh, we're getting there slowly but surely. Beautiful fish though. Look at that. He's clean, like middle of the Gold Coast, catching clean quality whiting like this in knee deep water on a, it's not a hot summer's day, but it is a summer's day. The wind is cranking, the fish are biting. We're doing it, we are doing it. Tez, I wish you were here, mate. We'll be back, don't you worry. Come on, get it down. another one yep another little one this one might be a touch on the small side though might be a touch on the small side this guy not even gonna chuck him on the measure hook out and send him back right we're gonna go get back to the boat and get some more yabbies, see if we can finish the job here. You guys enjoying the video? If you are, do us a big old favor and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell as well, and you'll get notified every time I upload a new video so you never miss an episode. Anyways guys, back to the fishing. The feed is slowly but surely coming together. That first one we got, absolute stonks. And then we've progressively gone down from there. And uh, I also found out that I don't have a 12 volt outlet to heat up my lunch, but that's all right. Four, I'll settle with six. 
but at least we got four in the bank. We won't go hungry. With a load of fresh abbeys and renewed enthusiasm, it was back to waiting. I just wanted a couple more fish to round out the feed. Might be your boy Flatty. Flatty or it's a really big whiting. I think I think this might be the one. Oh no, it's a flatty. Oh I saw the shadow and thought, here we go. Big whiting time. Oh guess where my net is. Oh no. Ah. I thought for a second this guy was our pony. He was just ghosting around, looking whiting esque. And uh, yeah. He not. Perfect. Exactly how I thought that would go down. Be you. That feels a bit more whitingy. It is. All right. I think that's an ingredient. I'm gonna have to put him on the measure. But that looks like 27 centimeters to me. He won't be there by much. But a win's a win. We're not, don't need to show off. Oh, 26. And just like that, we've lowered the bar to 26. <laughs> we are getting towards the end of the day here, so. And how far down is that hook? Yeah, and he's got it right down, so we're going to keep that guy as well. I did say 27, but 26 is pretty close and he's gutted it, so rather than damage him trying to get that hook out, we'll just uh, keep him for a feed and he can join our little stash. One more, one more, and we'll call it a day. We'll call it par for the course. If anything, Yes, I know we didn't kill it. I've seen plenty of photos of massive pools of whiting over the years. We are certainly not doing that today. We're having a bloody good time. Well. Oh. Be him. There's a bit of weight there. Oh, this could be our leaving fish. Oh, I think it is. Oh, it's a 
a good one. We said we wanted one more, the persistence whiting. Make the feed a six. And this appears to be a fine specimen. Or well, fine enough for us anyway. I wish I had a net to finish the job. But ah oh well. <laughs> We've got him regardless. Righto, the all important. The all important measure. I don't want to take the hook out because I'll probably drop him. Nose on. Ladies and gentlemen, closer to 28 than it is 27. Six whiting, a hard fought six whiting. Now, oh, first off, I'm never going to claim myself as a talented whiting angler. That's why I'm so excited to get my six. That was just damn good fun. And we've got a lovely feed in the hustle and bustle of the Gold Coast. We've got choppers flying overhead. And we have secured a lovely feed of whiting. Look at that. I'm, I'm pretty stoked. I think the Phantom would be proud. It did take me all day to get six. Probably a lot slower than he would have liked. But... He didn't catch them because he's on holiday, so someone had to. It may as well have been me. They're just a beautiful fish. Absolute beautiful fish. And in the bag he goes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to call it a day. That was a hard fought six, but we got him in the end. Now, I quickly wanted to go through the gear because it is fairly specialised. You don't need to go this hard out, but if you're looking for a modern setup, something like this, this is a Bone Voyage Salt Finesse. Now this is the 8 foot 4 ML. Now this has got a super, super light tip, which is perfect for casting those yabbies without having them pop off and constantly losing them. Now that's matched with the 2000 little ATC carbon reel. Super light, the whole outfit weighs, I'd say, less than 100 grams i oh, don't quote me on that my uh, weight scales hand scales are quite off but super super light so you can walk around cast and fish with that all day and have an absolute ball i've got that spooled with uh, i think it's three or four pound braid so super light again so you can cast those unweighted yabbies a mile and then i've got six pound leader here wilson fc and for the hook we've got a mustard fine worm hook that guy there size four and that's all we've got. No sinker, no nothing. Just walk the flats. We've got a wading bag for our fish. This I'd usually have around my waist, but we were getting a bit deep there. That's just got some spare hooks, uh, pliers, and a bit of leader in case I bust off. I've got my rod bucket to keep my yabbies in. A little belt rod holder, so you can go hands-free when you're de-hooking. That's about it. A positive attitude and a big old smile. Well, guys, that's the boat up there. Time to trudge back and head for home. That was bloody good fun. Well, ladies and gents, it was a bit of work, but I can't think of too many better ways to spend a day. These were the two biggest, 31 and 34, and then a solid mix all the way down to 26 centimeters. Now, we're not gonna be doing a fill it up today. I'm gonna save that for the whiting session I'm gonna do with Tez. He is a way better whiting filleter than I am, so I thought what better way to showcase some of this pearly white flesh, this tasty white flesh, than wait for Tez, and we can do it with a beer at the filleting table. So guys, with that in mind, we're gonna wrap it up here. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope you enjoyed the episode. Also, shout out to Migs on the camera. He got some epic footage this trip. Really hope you enjoyed all the cool angles he was able to get just remember if you'd like to support the channel you can do so by heading to my website sammyhitskyfishing.com got hats shirts d hookers trolling rigs all sorts of stuff head over there and see if there's anything that tickles your fancy once again guys hope you're all safe and well hope you're catching a few fish and i'll catch you next week for another sammy hitsky fishing adventure cheers uh, don't mind me just can't find the hole <laughs>